Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Berry X. Today we're going to react to Season 5, Episode 9 of The 100, entitled Six Semper Tyrannus. I don't know, is that from the Marines or something? Darth Tyrannus, a.k.a. Count Dooku? If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to the content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. Jerry is going to do his best work behind the scenes in just a second. Uh, I feel like that's not the outro. I feel like my volume thing's also a little weird. Has it been down this low the whole time? I don't think that's intentional. Wow, that last episode may be super quiet then. Oof. Anyways. <laughs> I think I just butchered my whole intro. Let's just let's just watch this. They they, they done set up uh, Bellamy knocked out his sister. That's what happened. I had the shit like down here. I'll turn it up a smidge. You could have been a minor dog. Miners don't care about destroying the ground they're digging in. I did that, my patient would die. So Facts. Me to do intentionally because I won't. Colonel. Incoming. You know what to do. Hide the machine. It's been a full day. What was their reaction immediately after that? What was your reaction after you brought in the prisoners? Nothing? Vincent, stay out of sight. Robert's lungs filled with fluid this morning. He almost drowned. Almost drowned in his own lungs. Imagine drowning sitting still. That would I suck. To check on her progress too. Maybe we should let her do her job. Well, I actually see her belly under her armor now. My people know you didn't trade for me. Some of them are even calling for your head. Well, then it's a good thing my people have all the guns. I had him locked up when you came home. One step ahead. As always. I either feel like one of two things. You're either going to, like, the Ozo end up having this baby at some point, or they'll kill the baby. Crowded. It's a sick fucking show. You know, he'd be snapping sometimes. Ooh, they're scared of him. They're scared of my boy Venison walked in there like fucking Psycho Bob Dexter type shit and just stared him right in his shit. Oof. That little church looks nice though. A little, yeah, it's it's cute. A little cottage home. I agree with Raven. This man went over there and stirred the pot and said, "Hey, that guy by the door called you a pussy." The hundred. So a little buddy got up and just swung on him. Okay, Med, that's enough. We can't risk the child being seen here. She'll be safe now, and so will you. Is 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 Bell Bell gonna tell Clark? Be quick. Are you gonna tell her? What'd you do? What did you do? Mm-hmm. Auntie's old you. Put her in a coma, baby. Oh Together. That's sweet. But quit saying together, because he's with Echo. If you never brought Echo into the picture, I'd be wanting y'all to put your tongues on each other, no. but if you're right and there's something in her blood, dialysis should filter it out. Haley, it's me, Jax, and I'm here trying to figure out what's going on with Octavia. She's kinda she's not breathing well. We got her laid up in the best bed we have. Session. I she ain't gonna die, bro. She just sent a little coma. One crew. If there's any change in her condition, I wanna be the first to know. Gather the first battalion in the villages. Yeah, Miller, you right fucking. God, he makes me mad. Miller's just submissive to everybody. Did I got? Did we put in a ladder or something in this pit? I forgot about this. Is there a ladder? The whispers are true. Our beloved Blood Arena has fallen ill. These may be her final hours. Listen to me. I trained Octavia as my second, and I love her as I love my own child. Mm. 
I advised her and led her army. And I love her as I love my own child. It was a desire that if she should ever fall, I step forward to lead you. Think about that for a second. Hold on one second. All right. Think about that. Just that growth from like what season was it season one with Indra? Just that disdain for Octavia. And then kind of like, you know, what she, everything with Lincoln and then come back around. And now to say, I mean, she says she's loved her two or twice now, I think, but still. It's just wholesome. I loved her like I love my own daughter. Even though we don't really see much from Gaia, but still. Gaia the Fierce Knight. That guy's just happy to be there. To enter the valley peacefully, so that no more shall suffer. You're not in command here. Miller, shut your dumb ass up. <laughs> Jonathan, don't get a soft spot for somebody with a nickname fucking Graveyard. Horrible. Better get on that treatment. She didn't tell you. Oh, of course not. Why would she? She wants you dead. Jonathan stirring the pot, bro. Explain. You see, I'm on your side. Yeah, slap nuts. All I know is Abby found a cure. Rigged up some kind of machine to melt the crap in your lungs, my guess. Diaz is choosing who lives and dies. You seem to be on the wrong list. Story of this show, huh? If what you're saying is true, you should get your friends and go. As agreed. Before the bloodshed starts. I just gained a, a little bit, a smidge. A, a dime size amount of respect for a motherfucker with a nickname Graveyard just now for saying that. Either you come with us or we'll kill you. How's that phrase going? We'll have to work on it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got a little crush on each other? Bite his nose. But okay. Okay. Yeah, just like that. It's like, well, I guess if I'm gonna die, if not, you know. They're kind of cute together. I like that transition they just did. They're speaking in trigonometry again. They brought the stones. That's such like a casual bit of dialogue right there, but that just went so fucking hard. I'm sorry I interrupted your prayers. Turns out I'm here to answer them. Oh, That's that gave me cold chills. Suddenly you're a peacemaker. Yeah. Warriors hate war, Gaia. And yet all you wanted me to do was follow in your footsteps. Real G's moving silence like lasagna. Point. One crew is set to march. You're about to get your wish. You know what makes me mad about Gaia is that how well she can rock short hair. Like it looks easy to maintain. So are you. Every time I see her in any show, it makes me mad how good she looks with short hair. It's true. Uh huh. My faith is not as pure as yours. Facts. Agnostic, probably. But you are as responsible for what Octavia became as I am. Mm. Latrina was a leader we needed then. We need a true commander now. Will you do it or not? Oof. I mean, with a tear in her eye. Oh, it's trickling down. Right down that right cheek. To make. The child must choose. Herself. Oof. I like it. Mm. 
Maddie, Eddie, 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 Eddie. I'll check on Octavia. Maddie, do you know why they brought you here? Oh. We gonna put this Maddie. fucking gusher in the back of your neck. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. You're right on time. You ever notice how people come in this show? They just fucking uh, just uh, punch a door in. Watch this. You ready? Let me just. Motherfucker, just knock, bro. Poison to me. I'll take care of her. You need to arrest Bell and me. I'm afraid I can't do that. A knife right to the motherfucking eyeball. You better put that thing down, Jackson. Oh, good night. Haley, I just called a fucking poison dart right to my neck. He's leaving this room. Andra, that don't that don't spell out well for you, my friend. I love you to pieces, but good God. How many fucking times I gotta watch this door open and her step out with two people on each side of her? Or one person on each side of her? That'd make it too shut up. What's all of you up to? You this motherfucker's going of land to call your own. Literal pot stir. How does that sound? Literal pot stir. This motherfucker about to throw a rock and set this whole bitch off. Not hitting no ball, dude, in the back of the motherfucking. Oh! Oh, it's right in the front of his head. Oh, me on oh my. Hey, be careful out there, Dios. You got motherfucking little baby in your belly. Which one should we do? Ooh, there's gunshots going off. Oh, okay. A little bit of hand to hand combat here from motherfucking Dioza Boza. Oh, swinging a miss. Y'all got to, have to fight hand to hand now. Who the fuck's this walking up on you with your braids? Oh, her protective vest is off. What'd I tell y'all? What'd I tell y'all? Oh, no, they're going to do it. him in the fucking face with a piece of glass oh stabbed him in the neck it's a girl by the way told you told you it was his fucking told you it was his we have to go now where's abby they, they just killed mccreary but she'll be okay this man just got stabbed in the fucking jugular and two tapped and is still alive bro it's okay just die Tell me why he ain't nothing. Do you also agree to share the valley if we surrender? Surrender? So you're not just a traitor, you're a coward. I'm ashamed of you. And I'm afraid of you, of what you've become. Don't make me regret this. Ugh. Got her ass walking out here like a motherfucking Jedi. Are already gathering. We have to get to them before they put the flame in her head. There's too many of them. Everyone here wants this done. Tell me the truth, Naima. Either. Either. 
they'll end up. I don't think they're going to put the flame in Maddie's head, but I do think. Well, they might. They might. They may be too little, too late. Or Clark's like, just give it to me, and I'll fucking bagoosh it. Yep, a little bit of Ash Wednesday. Don't worry, we're gonna mark you right there. I know that shit probably felt gross. Clark, I don't like stuff touching my forehead. She's about to shoot Indra. Ooh. Do it or don't! Fuck! Oh, it's attached. Ain't no going back now, bro. What is this nonsense? What are you talking about? Bro, they done got Octavia up out of the bed and walking. Miller. Arrest the traitors. Oh, dang it. The pain in her eyes. I got, I got faked out. I thought that was the end of the episode. I was ready to boop, 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 boop. She's smiling. Worried about that thing in your chest? Nope. Already cured. Oh, not that thing. He about to shoot you. Oh, or stab you. But why? The doctor's in. So I, I've been picking up on Abby's interactions with Venison, Vincent, whoever the fuck his goofy ass name is. He, uh, especially with Dioza saying, you know, once a lion, always a lion. You know, you just pulled the thorn from the lion's foot. He's still a lion, whatever the fuck she said. Dioza may, and Dioza, Vincent may be the key. He may be very important to saving Abby. That's what, that's what I'm thinking. I think he may go out swinging. No, please. We had a deal. These are my orders. Gun blood drainer. Oh, my fuck. Down, Jerome. Jerome. You like Jerome, come Sangera crew. Nomfa come Lisbeth, come Sangera crew. You served with honor in the Royal Guard of Lexa, come tree crew. You believed in her. Now believe in me. Isn't it kind of weird that Clark's like baby mama girlfriend is in now in the neck of her daughter? I don't know. I just something about that isn't. Clark's like, wow, is that Lexa speaking? Heather. Heather. Oh. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? You know why. Clark, if we run, Octavia wins. Facts. Gaia, Indra, and Bellamy will die. They made their choice. Wow. She tried to go with that. There are no good people shit yet again. First. There's a minute left. Oh, don't 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 kill Andrew. First we have a war to win. them tears out let them out there you go oh there's one what about the other eye no uh man poor octavia she she's power hungry power hungry scared to lose oh my good fuck scared to lose that uh scared to lose her power wow okay we're not on that episode get back up here murphy lights a fire that sparks uh 
Calamitous? Yeah, calamitous events in the shallow valley. The widening schisms forming in one crew worsen and may become permanent. They actually put the chip in Maddie. Maddie now has all the hive knowledge of past commanders, including Lexa, in her brain, conjoined with her mind. Now Clark's doing her best job to protect her. Like Bellamy said, you know, the mother bear doesn't, you know, it just it just protects. It's just a natural instinct. So I, I get Clark not wanting Maddie to become the commander for obvious reasons, but man, that's fucked. Bellamy is still a murderer. <laughs> he did kill 300 people in his sleep, but everybody's trying to get kind of broker closer to that peace. That's what everybody wants is peace. Meanwhile, there's a civil war happening in Shallow Valley. Seems everybody escaped, but Abby, I think Abby and Vincent have some sort of connection to where they'll be able to help each other. Or maybe able to rig the machine to kill them and damage them worse. I don't like that McCreary took two shots and got stabbed in the jugular and is okay. I call bullshit. Uh, especially with how much blood he was losing. Did they get the, how quick did she get in there? Abby performed on him. I just would have liked to have seen it rather than a cut to him holding his neck and now he has stitches. Dioza getting her chest piece removed. Oof. You kill me, you kill your unborn child. I don't think McCree cares about them. I think for a second it like shocked him, but he did pull out the glizzy and was going to shoot her until he got two tapped. He probably did have some some chest armor or something on, but still, like uh, Kevlar. I don't know. That just kind of made me mad. But Murphy being the shit stir, this episode, you know, they always you always kind of highlight a couple people in an episode. I think this episode highlighted Indra a bunch. Indra kind of Murphy. Um, and then as well, I mean, you could throw Maddie in that conversation, but it, a lot of it was on Indra's shoulders. So they're all three kind of gaffled right there at the end on their knees. What's going to become of them? Execute it? What are they going to do? I keep talking about the dark year. Nobody's mentioned Jaha's death in the present. No, no, not a single fucking person has been like, hey, by the way, where's Jaha? Where's Thelonious? Like Abby being like, where's Thelonious? Or wait, Abby was, no. You know, they were down there. Wait. Not not Abby, not Kane. I said that a couple episodes back. Why wouldn't somebody tell Kane that Jaha's dead? That doesn't make sense. He was there. He's the one that fucking talked him to the thing. Why haven't, uh... yeah, Clark, Bellamy, and that group. I feel like Murphy would want to know. Just seems weird to me. Anyways, uh, episode 9 entitled Six Emperor Tyrannus. Episode 10 is entitled The Warrior's Will. And I will catch you there. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.